Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. And first of all, to anyone who's being affected by floods, I know I've talked about the floods in the United States, but it seems to be a global problem at the moment. Uh, there have been floods in New Zealand and France and India, North Africa, other places as well in Europe. Um, terrible floods. Uh, very scary, very devastating. So my sending you lots of love and prayers to any of you out there who's been affected by this. So on we go with the British royal family and we're in Australia and we are with the king and queen as they do what many people suspect is a final, a sort of farewell tour of Australia. The king of course has halted his cancer treatment so that he can make the trip to Australia and Samoa for the heads of state meeting, the Commonwealth heads of state meeting. And um, I've read on the health situation, I read on that a while back. I just want to see how this tour is going to go uh, because of course there is quite a lot riding on this the Republican movement in Australia is um, quite agitated about the fact that the king is visiting the state premiers are um, not boycotting that's just too strong a word but they are snubbing is the word that the media are using the reception for the king in Canberra I think that's on Monday and so there have been some uh, not exactly welcoming gestures and understandable uh, I, do, I do get it um, so I'm just going to do a quick reading and see how he is feeling how he feels about the the snubbing I want to know how he's going to be received by the powers that be, the sort of authority figures, government aspect, and the man in the street, the man and woman in the street. And I want to know how it's going to go for the king. I want to know how it's going to go for the relationship between um, Australia and the British royal family, the monarchy. And then a wild card. I want to know if Harry and Meghan, if there's going to be any news from them or any attempt to overshadow this or any sort of twist or surprise event. Uh, they, we know that they do like to overshadow events that other members of the royal family are undertaking. And since they made us operandi, it's well established. They've already been at it. Uh, with the Portugal property purchase and Harry's lame attempts at surfing, my opinion, lame attempts at surfing. I just want to know if, because it's been kind of on my mind, it's been on my mind for a while. And so I'm going to just check in with that energy and just see if they are planning a, a surprise or whether there's just going to be some surprise news around this tour from their side uh, of things whether they are the ones that um, deliberately leak the news or it just happens because there's a lot of strange energy around at the moment as I said at the start of this reading in terms of weather and lots of people going through some quite difficult things and I don't think the royal family no exception so that's where we're heading today and let's remind you it's tarot it's for fun and entertainment it's all my opinion it's all speculation i just read energy here and of course there is a disclaimer in the box below we've got the card of international travel the six of swords and so that obviously is this big overseas tour and I was trying to re remember where the king and queen have been since Charles acceded to the throne a couple of years ago and it's only the continent Germany and France and so this is a big moment the six of swords and this apart from just being the card of international travel flight typically the six of swords it's also the sense of let's move on from what's been a very difficult time the last well this entire year so far has been incredibly difficult for the royal family so there's a sense of let's put it behind us let's hope that we're moving into smoother waters that we can have a, a bit of a, a break from all the bad news i think the weather has been quite uh, bad in australia and there was some glitch 
with um, some sort of photo montage that I gather they were doing projecting onto the Sydney Opera House if I'm not mistaken. I haven't really been following it minutely as the events unfold. It has just literally started. But that is the intention that's underlying this reading of let's just hope that things go smoothly and we can put our troubles behind us. So that's the underlying energy. What are we dealing with today? We're dealing with a king of swords and that is the king in his signifying the monarchy, uh, Britain, going abroad like this as the king of swords as his if in his official capacity as king um, it's very powerful it's obviously very regal statesmanlike um, strategic there's a lot of planning that's gone into this meticulous planning i'm sure and that's him going as it feels to me like elder statesman the king of swords is somebody who's been uh, tested and has emerged very resilient very mentally strong and sharpened and focused and so he's going with intention to convey that sort of elder statesman energy that's me i'm just reading energy i'm reading cards don't have a horse in this race at all as i very often say in these kinds of readings and i mean it sincerely so we look at the king first now the actual cards and his hopes his expectations his anticipation when it comes to this knight of cups it's a card of love it's a card of great affection I think that he genuinely feels great affection uh, towards Australia, the country, the people. Um, apart from those awkward moments with Princess Diana all those years ago, I think he's had really happy times there. And it's a place that he really loves. Uh, swans, of course, are devoted. And so I think it's, it's really something that he feels very emotional about, that this is something he really wants to do out of a place of genuine connection, um, loyalty, love, um, gratitude even, uh, possibly for the support that he's got from um, the Australian people over many years. So it's an interesting card. It's a very positive card. I'm feeling quite emotional when I tap into the energy of that card. And I think he's feeling emotional. And I think we might see that emotion along the way. There's all kinds of memories being stirred up from his own life, his children's lives, his parents' lives, um, other family members, of course, very intimately connected with Australia. And yes, I know when I said that I had a sudden mental flash of certain scandals and rumors. I'm not going there that's this isn't the the moment for that so i'm going to uh, put that away out of my mind um, how does he feel about being snubbed by the state premiers i've got the ten of swords it's a blow it really is a massive blow uh, it's the end and he knows that at some level it is the end and i don't think that they would have done this for the late queen um, they would have shown up I'm sure it's it's awkward it's difficult it's it's it couldn't be worse really the ten of swords he is trying to pick himself up um, scrape himself off the floor because the card is in the reverse but I think this is a an awful blow for him that uh, they can do this so brazenly and all of them as far as I understand it all of them and this is very painful and humiliating, this level of snubbing. And it does signify some kind of an ending uh, as far as the relationship between the monarchy and Australia goes. So we're going to test that uh, out later on in this reading. But let's look and see how he's going to be received in Australia. First of all, by the powers that be, the authority figures, the government figures, those kinds of people. Knight of Swords, um, not a warm welcome. It's more kind of business like that Knight of Swords. Um, almost getting the energy with that Knight of Swords that they will go through the motions and try and get it over with as quickly as possible. Oh, I have to show up at such and such. So um, I'll do what I have to do, but I'm, I'm there and I'm out of there as, as fast as can be. 
because it's very swift moving energy the knight of swords and it's strategic so it's a very strategic card so it's hedging bets uh, making sure that the right message is sent out the 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 right intention is sent out and as i say it's not warm this is the what the the very emotional um action card the knight of cups this is cool strategic quite distant yeah um i, th I think that's all that I, ne I need to say about that knight of swords let's see how the people are going to receive the king are they going to warm to him are there going to be crowds or is it going to be ah uh, who cares um what's going to happen and I've got the Ten of Wands, another Ten and another one in reverse, the Ten of Wands. And it's a difficult card, uh, not going to lie. Uh, ten of Wands is about somebody who's very burdened, overwhelmed by their burdens, and in the reverse, putting their burdens down. Could go either way. There's a strange energy around this Ten of Wands in reverse for me as a reader. And either people just really couldn't be bothered because they're overwhelmed with their own everyday difficulties or they kind of look at the king and almost feel sorry for him and look at him and think you're really struggling your family's really struggling you're really going through hell you've been through hell uh, from a physical point of view you're really not being warmly welcomed in our country. And it's almost like, okay, we, we'll, we'll, we'll put down all the disputing and the conflict and all of that. And we'll just put it down for a while. So it's like a, it's like a timeout in a, in a conflict of, okay, we'll give you this grace period where we will receive you but I'm not getting huge amounts of interest or emotion or anything like that. It feels to me like a pause of let's just give him some space. Let's give him some time and acknowledge that he, the difficulties that he's been going through, the royal family has been going through, and then we'll resume our whatever it is our difficulties after that it's odd energy so let's see how it's going to go overall for the king is it going to be something he looks back at and thinks that was a great success or not another 10 in reverse this is the connection with the monarchy that is unraveling and he knows it 10 of pentacles in reverse i'm sad to see this and i'm not uh, again, I, it's not my business whether Australia wants to have a king or not. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a legacy issue and of course times change and people move on and countries go their own ways and it's leaving the monarchy behind with that Ten of Pentacles. It's a classic monarchy card because it's about the legacy the lineage the passing through the generations and it's in reverse for the king this really is a farewell tour he knows it it's all these tens are endings 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 and there are difficult endings so the snubbing hurts the people i don't think are going to it's not going to be a rapturous reception at all they might give him grace and they might uh, give him some time and some space but ultimately for him personally with that ten of pentacles in reverse he knows that it's on his watch that this whole thing is ending at some level whether it's ending officially and there is an actual exit or, or separation or whether it's just ending because we can all see that it's ending it's on him and scorpios of course are the agents of change the death card signifies scorpio and scorpios in their lives do tend to go through these quite radical um, endings and transformations and these quite difficult processes he's going through it now himself let's look at 
the monarchy and the Australian people, what's happening here. We've got the Queen of Swords. Um, it could be a woman who does the final separation at some stage. It of course brings through, because there's the crown, it brings through the late queen's energy. And it might be that there's a kind of hangover of her energy and that while a certain generation uh, is still affected by that and still has memories of that, it might be that the actual separation is a little bit on hold because it is one of the cards that signifies the late queen and we have the matching pair because it's them in their official capacity their june birthdays which are air sign birthdays um, so there's the late queen there is charles as the king of swords so it's the two of them together and possibly people are just going to let it sit for a bit before they do the actual severing but that sword is there and that sword is ready to cut and as I say um, there is a sense that it might be a female-led decision at some stage I'm not getting right now but it's known it's going to be very obvious through what happens and if if it's stage managed to the extent that people who are only half watching don't really see it the king himself is very aware of it and it's going to be I think extremely difficult for him so to the wild card and the wild card is about Harry and Meghan and what they might try and do a stunt that they might try and pull to overshadow this and draw attention to themselves or something that might come out inadvertently because they do have troubles brewing they are being mentioned in all kinds of contexts that are very uh, unsavory and we'll go there again at some stage so anything in the energy that we need to see about oh we've got the ace of cups in reverse two things first of all we might have another miscarriage it's possible um, and allegedly uh, she has played that card before when Harry did a disappearing act um, and um, that was how she got him back that's a rumor that's allegedly I have to say that that is something that people speculate about they don't know for a fact and I'm repeating this rumor because the ace of cups has that potential of a loss of something uh, and the other thing uh, if it's the pair of them it could be that it becomes very obvious over the next few days that it's really over in Montecito so hmm I, I do get something here that is it's big because it's the ace ace of cups is big and as I say it can be around a pregnancy that um, allegedly uh, goes wrong uh, or it can be around their actual relationship that we find out somehow that it's over in that capacity as well so that isn't that's the one to watch i think this is all pretty much what we expect um i'm just wondering no i've gone on for long enough now we'll uh, we'll we'll see how we'll see what happens see how this energy unfolds just naturally i won't clarify it now but there it is that's the reading and thank you very much for watching i'll see you on the next one